Hi everyone, it's Vela from Online Combat Battalion with another Armor 3 Editor tutorial for you. Uh, this one's in response to a question I did get asked a while ago by a viewer, but I don't recall the viewer's name, I do apologise. But that viewer wanted to know how to have AI units remain in location and not move even when they were being attacked. So here is the simplest way to do it, and this should work pretty reliably in the single player, multiplayer and co-op missions. What you will require is two modifications. One is community-based add-ons, which is commonly referred to CBA A3. The other one is Eden Enhanced, which is 3DEN, and then the word enhanced. Both available in the workshop and both linked in the description below. Um, one of the reasons uh, Eden Enhanced is so good is if you are a mission maker, you really need to be using Eden Enhanced for a whole range of reasons. One of those reasons is the options you have in editing units once they are placed. So I'm just going to pick this guy and double click, double left click on him and you've got all the normal stuff you see but down here you've got a section on special states and you've got a whole heap of different options in here that you can select for that AI unit. One of those is stay on position. So if that is ticked then that AI unit will stay on position and not move. Uh, I'll just check the next guy. I think I've already set all these up. Yeah, they're all stay on position. So uh, even when attacked, these units will not move. They will remain exactly where they are. Whoopsie. So I'm going to move me, as in the playable unit, out of the way. And I'm going to put these guys in a very loose sort of arrowhead formation just to show you that once they are contacted they won't move and I'm going to put in some AI enemy infantry and let's go with a recon team who will come from down in the ditch here and a another recon team that we'll, I'll have coming from this direction. I'll just give them some waypoints by holding down left shift right click and they will move into this area and a fight between the two groups or the two sides will ensue, ensue shortly thereafter. So what I'll do is uh, I'll move myself a little bit out of the way so they're not shooting at me. I have placed down a Zeus module and set that up. And I'll run the mission and we'll have a look to see what happens. And in theory, these guys should remain in their little formation and not run. They won't take cover, they won't move. Okay, mission is running and I'm in Zeus, so I'm having a look. We've got our NVA troops running up towards the Australian SAS troops who are in their small arrowhead formation and we've got a contact started so they're now getting hit from both sides and you'll note that they have not moved from their position they have stayed on their position and they will continue to remain there because I have set them as stay on position Another uh, couple of ways you can stop these guys from moving is if you just want a static unit that does nothing, will react to nothing, um, and will just stay there and stand there, uh, you can go to the unit uh, marker at the top above the unit, double left click and go and select careless. Um, as careless, that unit will do nothing. They won't react to enemy, they will do absolutely nothing. The other way you can do it, and that's probably not very useful, um, the other way you can do it is, I've got these two guys here, and I've set, I've gone into the unit attributes, and in the init I've put this disable AI move, in inverted commas with semicolon, and I've given a variable name of S3. For So for this particular demonstration, you don't need a variable name, but I've put them in there because I'm going to show you something else. And this guy is exactly the same, this disable AI move. So on the unit initialization or when the mission starts, this unit will be disabled. Their move, their ability to move will be disabled. Okay, I'll show you how that works. 
Okay, we've got an enemy coming around the corner here. I've got the careless unit here. Uh, and he didn't react at all to the enemy unit. And these two guys didn't move at all. All right, so they they uh, will stay where you put them because their ability to move has been disabled in the initialization. This guy didn't react at all because he is set to careless. He doesn't care what is going on at all. Now, the reason I gave the variable names of uh, S2 and S3 here, or you can have whatever variable names you like, is I've given them a move waypoint. And after this contact, I want them to be able to move. Uh, I've gone over this quite a few times in other tutorials, but I thought it might be worth just running over it quickly again for those who haven't seen my other tutorials. Okay, so I'm going to place a trigger here. And I'm going to make the activation type as any player present. And on activation, I'm going to say S2 enable AI move. And S3 enable AI move. So uh, these guys have a move waypoint, or they have move waypoints just set to here, but they won't move until I have entered that trigger, because that trigger tells them that their move is now enabled. So I'll show you how that works. Okay, so we've got our enemy coming around the corner there. We've got our careless guy here who will do nothing. And we've got these two guys here that will react to the enemy contact, but they won't move from their location. Now I want them to move from their location, so I run into that trigger, and they can now move to the waypoint I set for them. Pretty simple. Another little trick to activate that move trigger is to give this guy a variable name and we'll call him hmm, Kevin. And we'll go over here and to get these guys to move, I can set the activation to none and I can set the trigger condition as exclamation mark alive. Kevin. So when Kevin is no longer alive, this trigger will fire and on activation it enables S1 and S3 to move, which are these two guys here. So when this dude gets taken out, these dudes will move to their waypoints and I'll show you how that works. So we're just waiting for Kevin to come around the corner. Uh, this dude is not going to do anything, as we've already seen. These two guys will react and engage. And Kevin's down. And now they're moving. Just another little couple of trigger tricks for you. Pretty simple stuff. One more thing you can do with Eden Enhanced, which is actually quite an awesome feature, is I'm just going to go back into the... Uh, attributes of this unit that I've set to careless and I do that by clicking on the unit marker above him. I'm going to set his uh, state now to safe which means he will react but what I'm also going to do is go into the attributes here double left click and I'm going to set an ambient animation. Now this is one of the really cool features of Eden Enhanced. So I'm going to get him to um, listen to a briefing animation. Okay, so you can see he's already changed his stance. His weapon's now uh, slung on his pack. And he will go into an animation loop once the mission starts. In the animation section, I'm going to select Can Exit. What can exit means is that once there is a contact or once something happens, he will exit the animation and react. Okay, so that's, uh, that's a pretty cool thing and I'll show you how that one works. Okay, back in the mission, we have our guy there in his ambient animation. 
and he's listening to a briefing, being fully attentive to the uh, officer's instructions and orders. <laughs> uh, this dude's come around the corner. He's now exited his animation and he's reacted. And taken out Kevin and these guys, because Kevin's down, will now run to their waypoints because I moved them around the corner. So there's a couple of uh, little tricks there, uh, staying, getting the AI to stay on position, getting them to move on a trigger after a particular thing has happened or a trigger condition is met, i.e. a player present in the trigger or an enemy unit or any variable name destroyed will fire that trigger. Uh, I do have a stack of tutorial questions to get through and tutorials to make for them. I do apologize for how long it's taken me to get these out, but uh, there's a lot going on in real life at the moment. So um, I'm going to do my best to get through them as quickly as I can and produce a lot more content for you guys. I'm planning on uh, one tutorial per week um, for the foreseeable future. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, take care of each other. Take care of yourself and I'll see you in the next video.